Marburg virus Marburg virus was first recognized in 1967 when outbreaks of hemorrhagic fever occurred simultaneously in laboratories in Marburg and Frankfurt, Germany and in Belgrade, Yugoslavia 31 people become ill. Initially laboratory workers followed by several medical personnel and family members who had cared for them seven deaths were reported Marburg virus disease has on incubation period rang EMG from 2 to 21 days. Usually 5 to 10 days the disease is characterized by a sudden onset of height fever, headache chills and general malaise the reservoir host of Marburg virus is the African fruit bat Rausetus aegyptiacus the case fatality rate for Marburg hemorrhagic fever is between 23% to 90% the virus is considered to be extremely dangerous HIV HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus a few people with HIV have no indications for quite a long time or even a very long time subsequent to getting the infection. Halfway along these lines, one of every seven individuals with HIV in the U.S. don't realize that they have it. While an individual without any indications might be probably not going to look for curve, there is as yet a high danger of transmission. Hence, specialists suggest customary testing, with the goal that everybody knows about their HIV status. Then, around 80% of individuals with HIV create influenza-like side effects around two a month and a half in the wake of getting their disease. These side effects are altogether called intense retroviral disorder. HIV can transmit when body fluids containing the virus come into contact with a permeable barrier in the body or small breaks in moist tissues of areas such as the genitals. Specifically, HIV can transmit via blood semen pre-seminal fluid, vaginal fluids, rectal fluids, breast milk. Early symptoms of HIV may include a fever, chills, sweating, particularly at night enlarged glands or swollen lymph nodes, a diffuse rash, fatigue, weakness, pain, including joint pain, muscle aches, a sore throat, thrush, or a yeast infection, unintentional weight loss with advancing HIV. The odds of HIV advancing to AIDS change generally from individual to individual and rely upon numerous components, including their person's age, body's ability to defend against HIV, accessibility of quality health care, presence of other infections, person's genetic resistance to certain strains of HIV, strain of HIV, as some are drug resistant. While there is no solution for HIV, medicines can stop the movement of the disease. HIV is a lifelong condition, but treatments and certain strategies can prevent the virus from transmitting and the infection from progressing. Influenza virus Influenza flu is a contagious respiratory illness caused by influenza viruses that infect the nose, throat and sometimes the lungs. The most common symptoms include a fever, cough, sore throat. Muscle or body ache, headache, some people may have vomiting and diarrhea, it can cause mild to severe illness and at times can lead to death. In the 20th century, three influenza pandemics occurred, Spanish influenza in 1918, 17 to 100 million deaths, Asian influenza in 1957, 2 million deaths, and Hong Kong influenza in 1968, 1 million. 
deaths, influenza spreads around the world in yearly arthrials resulting in about 3 to 5 million cases of severe illness and about 290,000 to 650,000 deaths. The best way to prevent flu is by getting a flu vaccine each year. Ebola. Ebola virus disease is a serious, often fatal condition in humans and non-human primates. Ebola is one of several viral hemorrhagic fevers caused by infection with the virus of the Filoviridae family. Genus Ebola virus. The time stretch from disease with Ebola to the beginning of manifestations is 2 to 21 days, albeit 8 to 10 days is generally normal. Signs and manifestations include fever, headache, joint and muscle aches, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, st stomach pain, lack of appetite. There is presently no authorized immunization accessible for Ebola. A few immunizations are being tried, yet right now, none are accessible for clinical use. Right now, therapy for Ebola is restricted to serious steady consideration and incorporates adjusting the patient's liquids and electrolytes, keeping up their oxygen status and pulse treating a patient for any muddling diseases. The first cases of Ebola were reported simultaneously in 1976 in Yambuku, near the Ebola River in Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and in Andara, Sudan. Since then, eruptions or asymptomatic cases of Ebola in humans and animals have surfaced intermittently in the following locations due to outbreaks, laboratory contamination, and accidents. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, Sudan, South Sudan, Senegal, United Kingdom, United States, US, Philippines, Italy, Spain, Gabon, Ivory Coast. The 2014 Ebola outbreak was the largest in history, primarily affecting Guinea, northern Liberia, and Sierra Leone. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, estimates that the epidemic caused more than 11,000 deaths, with almost all occurring in West Africa. In the U.S., reports indicate that there have been two imported cases, including one death, and two locally acquired cases in healthcare workers. A small number of cases were reported in Nigeria, Mali, and Senegal, with health authorities able to contain these cases and prevent further spread. Dengue Dengue fever, otherwise called breakbone fever, is a mosquito-borne disease that can prompt an extreme influenza-like ailment. It is brought about by four diverse infections and spread by Aedes mosquitoes. Manifestations range from gentle to extreme. Extreme side effects incorporate dengue stun disorder, DSS, and dengue hemorrhagic fever, DHF. These typically require hospitalization. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, estimate that 400 million people are infected each year. Dengue fever is uncommon in the United States, U.S. However, around 100 cases are accounted for every year, generally among individuals going from outside the nation. Flare-ups have happened in Texas, Florida, and Hawaii. Dengue is communicated by the mosquitoes Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus, which are found all through the world. Around 2.5 billion individuals, or 40% of the total populace, live in zones where there is a danger of dengue transmission. Dengue is endemic in any event 100 nations in Asia, the Pacific, the Americas, Africa, and the Caribbean. Side effects for the most part start 4 to 7 days after the mosquito chomp and regularly last 3 to 10 days. Viable treatment is conceivable if a clinical finding is made early. Symptoms Side effects differ contingent upon the seriousness of the sickness. Mild dengue fever symptoms can appear up to seven days after being bitten by the mosquito that carries the virus. They include 
aching muscles and joints body rash that can disappear and then reappear high fever intense headache pain behind the eyes vomiting and feeling nauseous symptoms usually disappear after a week and mild dengue rarely involves serious or fatal complications there are as of now no immunizations the best strategy for counteraction is to keep away from mosquito nibbles Treatment is conceivable if analysis happens before the patient creates DSS or DHF. Dengue is an infection, so there is no particular treatment or fix. Nonetheless, intercession can help, contingent upon how extreme the sickness is. No vaccine can protect against dengue fever. Only avoiding mosquito bites can prevent it. Anyone who lives in or travels to an at-risk area can use a number of ways to avoid being bitten. Smallpox Chickenpox Chickenpox, also known as varicella, is a highly contagious infection caused by the varicella zoster virus. Although uncomfortable, most people recover within one to two weeks. Chickenpox is caused by the varicella zoster virus. Varicella has an incubation period of 10 to 21 days. Chickenpox is highly contagious. The infection spreads in a similar way to colds and flu. A diagnosis can normally be reached by observing the signs and symptoms. Before the rash appears, there will be a general feeling of being unwell, malaise, fever, which is usually worse in adults than children, aching muscles, loss of appetite in some cases, a feeling of nausea. After the rash appears, there will be rash. Severity varies from a few spots to a rash that covers the whole body. Spots. The spots develop in clusters and generally appear on the face, limbs, chest, and stomach. They tend to be small red and itchy. Blisters. Blisters can develop on the top of the spots. These can become very itchy. Clouding. Within about 48 hours, the blisters cloud over and start drying out. A crust develops. Healing. Within about 10 days, the crusts fall off on their own. During the whole cycle, new waves of spots can appear. In such cases, the patient might have different clusters of spots at varying stages of itchiness, dryness, and crustiness. Chickenpox for the most part settle inside up to 14 days without treatment. There is no fix, yet an antibody can forestall it. A vaccine is available for varicella. For children, two doses of the varicella vaccine are given, one at 12 to 15 months and one at age 4 to 6 years. These are 90% effective at preventing chickenpox. In the United States, the chickenpox vaccine is routinely given to children. Hepatitis Hepatitis includes aggravation of the liver cells and harm to the liver. There are various sorts and reasons for hepatitis, however the side effects can be comparative. The liver is essential for removing toxins from the blood, storing vitamins, and producing hormones. Hepatitis, however, can disrupt these processes. At least five viruses can cause hepatitis. The three most common are hepatitis A, B, and C infection with any of these three viruses can lead to life-threatening complications. Each type has different characteristics, and transmission happens in different ways but the symptoms tend to be similar. This article covers the different types of hepatitis, including their symptoms, treatments, and outlooks. Many people with hepatitis experience either mild or no symptoms. If symptoms do appear, they can do so two weeks to six months after infection. This applies to all types of hepatitis. Jaundice, abdominal pain, nausea, low appetite, swelling of the lower extremities, confusion, blood in the feces or vomit, dark urine, hives, itchy skin. There is no cure for hepatitis A, but treatment can help manage symptoms. Avoiding alcohol can help with recovery, but most people recover without intervention. Rotavirus 
Rotavirus is a profoundly infectious infection that causes irritation or gastroenteritis of the stomach and digestion tracts. It can cause extreme lack of hydration, and this can be deadly. The virus can affect adults, but the most severe cases are among unvaccinated children aged from 3 to 35 months. Before three months, infants usually have immunity from their mother. In the United States, U.S. rotavirus used to be most common during the winter and spring months, but since the introduction of a vaccine, this is less consistent. Symptoms take about two days to appear after infection. They include fever, vomiting, watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, profuse watery diarrhea, and they occur several times in a day. Vomiting and diarrhea can last from 3 to 8 days. This can lead to dehydration, which can be dangerous. Signs and symptoms of dehydration include Decreased urination, lethargy, dry or overly cool skin, absence of tears when crying, dry or sticky mouth, dry throat, sunken eyes, sunken fontanel. The soft spot on the head of an infant, extreme thirst, feeling dizzy on standing up a child may be unusually sleepy or fussy. There is no specific cure for rotavirus, but it usually resolves within seven days. However, treatment for dehydration is essential. SARS virus SARS in lethal virus SARS in the febrile, severe acute respiratory syndrome, the first appeared as 2003 and spread rapidly to more than two dozen countries across the world, infecting over 8,000 people and killing 774. SARS symptoms are similar to those of the flu, including fever over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, dry couch, sore throat, problems breathing including shortness of breath, headache, body aches, loss of appetite and confusion. Breathing issues will appear within 2 to 10 days a person exposed to the virus. There is no confirmed treatment that works for every person who has SARS antiviral. Medications and steroids are sometimes given to reduce lung swelling but aren't effective for everyone after the SARS virus. A virus called Sera 2 which was created to eradicate the SARS virus also spread around the world as a virus. COVID-19 COVID-19 is a disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. CO stands for corona, vi for virus, and D for disease. Formally, this disease was referred to as 2019 novel coronavirus or 2019 NCOV. Once a person has contracted coronavirus, it can take 2 to 14 days for symptoms to appear. The average incubation period appears to be roughly 5 to 6 days. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, symptoms of coronavirus can be mild and come on gradually. According to The Lancet, when hospital admission is necessary, this typically occurs from seven days onwards. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, state that a person with COVID-19 can experience a wide range of symptoms, often including a dry cough and shortness of breath. They may also have a combination of at least two of the following symptoms. Fever, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headaches, sore throat, new loss of taste or smell. Other symptoms of COVID-19 may include blocked nose, diarrhea, sputum, or coughed up mucus and saliva, nausea, vomiting. COVID-19 is a highly infectious disease that will usually produce symptoms a person can manage at home. However, it can occasionally cause severe illness. People with a coronavirus infection should ensure they follow guidelines and self-isolate for 14 days from when they become sick. If a person with COVID-19 has trouble breathing, or experiences other concerning symptoms, they should call 911 and seek medical attention. As flu has been around much longer than COVID-19, there are more treatment options. Most people with the flu do not require medical treatment. 
but a doctor might prescribe antiviral drugs in some cases, which can reduce the symptoms by one to two days. Thank <laughs> you.